Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Yeah, and we've been tracking that heat all summer long, and it just really makes you think how luck lucky we are in our area when it comes to the heat because it's really been a cooler than normal summer, uh, and that is good, especially when you compare it to that dangerous, deadly heat across a good portion of the U.S. Now, we are going to get in on some heat heading into next week. We're not expecting it to really reach dangerous territory, which is 100 degrees or higher, but it's going to be quite hot with several days in the 90s next week. We'll show you that seven day in a couple of seconds, but here's a live look outside. A beautiful live look. Blue skies, just a little bit of cloud cover at times. 85 the current temperature, and this is what I'm loving. The humidity of 39 percent. That is it. 85 was our official high today, and that's where we are now. 68 was our morning low. So we started out on the cooler side, but here's the heat. This is what we're tracking, a heat wave into next week. Yeah, a lot of us are going to be sweating heading into this upcoming week. We're going to touch 90 on Monday, likely low 90s Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we're climbing into the mid 90s by Thursday and Friday, and our humidity will begin to go up as well uh, as we head toward the second half of the upcoming week. So we're tracking it for you. Be sure to stay tuned. Temperatures right now in the low to mid 80s, just a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Dew points mid to upper 50s. You just cannot beat that for this time of year. We're in statistically the hottest period of the summer, and it's really pretty nice out there. It's all due to a cold front that uh, went through a couple of days ago, and now our winds just are coming out of the north and northwest at right around five miles per hour. We're mostly dry. There were a couple of showers in southern Indiana earlier today, but those are dissipating, and overall we are dry. High pressure in control across our region. If you're heading out this evening, we got a game here in town. Of course, Loose City at 8 o'clock at Lynn Family Stadium. A mix of clouds and sun at kickoff, low 80s. And at the end of the game, temperatures will drop down into the mid and upper 70s. And then after that, after midnight, we're dropping into the 60s. 67 here in town, but outside of the city, probably low to mid 60s with mostly clear skies. For tomorrow, a little bit warmer. We're going to go with upper 80s, a mix of clouds and sun, just like today. And we can't rule out a spotty afternoon shower, but it's only about a 10 or 20% chance. So a pop-up shower possible for the next couple of hours. Then we're mostly clear tonight. Tomorrow, a few clouds, but also periods of sunshine. So still another, another pretty uh, good day for outdoor activities. And then check this out later in the afternoon, just like today, there could be a couple of isolated pockets of showers that just develop in random spots, but most of us will stay dry heading into your Sunday. Monday, more of the same, but it heats up a little bit. This is when we likely hit 90 for the first time uh, heading into next week. Uh, right around 90 with a good amount of sunshine. And notice there are some isolated showers popping up west of town Monday afternoon. But overall, this is a dry seven-day forecast and a hot one as well. As we hit 90 on Monday, then we climb well into the 90s as we head toward the middle and end of this upcoming week. And it looks like we stay into the 90s, Drew, at least into Saturday of next week. And honestly, I didn't put it on every day, but honestly, there's a 10 to 20% chance of a shower every single day, the next seven days. But overwhelmingly dry and hot, except tomorrow, beautiful. I guess we're getting a little taste of what it seems the rest of the country has been dealing with yeah. with that heat. Hopefully we don't get the dangerous heat. Yeah. So stay tuned. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah.